Upon arriving at the scene, the officers reportedly found two people dead and two shot. The two shot were transported to an area hospital. New Orleans police on the scene of a triple shooting. New Orleans native Bruce Pollard, aka Young Stack, would mumble and turn his face away from the prosecutors attempting to quiz him about the man accused of shooting at him and killing his cousin during a Central City gang feud. Young Stax, who was in an orange prison jumpsuit because of his own gun conviction, was heated, yelling out he didn't understand why he was testifying at the second degree murder trial of an alleged shooter. Yelling out, you disrespecting me by bringing me in here. I don't know that guy. I don't know nothing about what y'all talking about. Let's rewind. An alleged gang member from the former Cali housing project in Central City supposedly have a hand in a deadly quadruple shooting that would target members of a rival gang on the edge of Gertown the summer of 2017. In the middle of a busy New Orleans intersection, it was about to go down. Dudes would start hitting out of a gold sedan. Two men would be killed and two more would be wounded. The shooting was allegedly the work of a rapper and Central City ghost gang member over a beef in the streets of New Orleans. On June 15, 2017, the NOPD was called at approximately 11 p.m. to investigate a shooting at the intersection of Carrollton Avenue and Earhart Boulevard. Upon arrival to the scene, the NOPD would witness a body lying on Carrollton Avenue. Approximately 15 minutes after they had been on the scene, another incident was reported. A vehicle found near University Hospital was riddled with bullet holes. A body was inside of the vehicle. The victim found on Carrollton Avenue was not responsive and could not identify who had shot him. At the scene where the bullet riddled vehicle was recovered, the victim inside the vehicle had already been pronounced dead. The NOPD would suspect that the shooting was associated with an ongoing street beef between two rival gangs, the Ghost Gang. and the Burry Gang. A second vehicle would later be discovered totally burned out. It was the belief of the NOPD that this second vehicle had been used in the shooting. Upon hitting the streets and questioning individuals from the area, the NOPD would be informed that both victims were alleged members of the Burry Gang. Detective Leonard Bendy, who was the lead investigator with respect to the double homicide of the Royal Pollard in Tehran prior to the June 15 shooting, was involved in the investigations of a series of homicides associated with an ongoing war between the Ghost Gang and the Burry Gang. One such homicide with the death of a ghost gang member that occurred on January the 31st of 2017. The date of this particular homicide was tattooed on the right side of the white's face. In regard to the shooting, the video surveillance camera will reflect what happened at the intersection of Carrollton Avenue and Earhart Boulevard. The video will show a gold Honda Accord pull alongside the black Honda Civic and start letting off numerous shots into the Civic. Thereafter, the video will show Teron Young falling out of the Civic after being struck by gunfire. After the shooting, the Accord would travel on the Earhart Boulevard towards the downtown area. Once the vehicle stopped near the Calio housing projects, cameras would allegedly show an individual matching the physical description of the white exit the driver's seat of the vehicle with an assault rifle. The individual was wearing a sleeveless white undershirt, jeans, and what appeared to be Timberland boots. So an individual allegedly fitting the white description was depicted on the video surveillance camera exiting the gold Accord with an assault rifle the white would not be arrested at that point. So look, check this here out. So let me get this clear. Them dicks were not able to see that man's face. They laid up there and built a whole case and charged a nigga based off a of body type. And this shit is ridiculous. Let's 
move on. Detective Bendy of the NOPD would obtain warrants for several social media accounts on which he would discover a rap song that described the shooting. Bendy would also listen to a rap song by G.B. White, who he would later learn was the White. Bendy also listened to a second song, Cutting Up, by Bruce Pollard, aka Young Stacks. Stacks would make a direct threat to the White in the song, threatening to wet the White up with a chopper. The Ron Young would also be mentioned in the song. The White Washington, aka G.B. White, would be be jailed on two counts of second degree murder in connection with the June 15th slayings of Teron Young, aka Baby Trilla, and Darrell Pollard, aka Micey. Court documents would describe the White Washington, aka TB White, as a member of the Ghost Gang, whose stomping ground were said to be the Calio, aka Rero Commons. This would be the first time that officials would publicly refer to the group by the name Ghost Gang. The documents would also describe Young, Pollard, and two other victims wounded in the attack as members of the so-called bird gang, which is based out of the Noya. The White allegedly helped ambush the victims as they left a rap concert uptown that the bird gang was allegedly promoting. Surveillance video footage and cell phone usage data is what allegedly led investigators to the White. The NOPD would ultimately conclude that the war between the ghost gang and bird gang is what had sparked the violence with the group, timing the ambush to occur as the victims left the concert. The video surveillance secured by the NOPD, which captured the shooting, showed multiple trigger men firing from a car that fled to the yoke. The NOPD would further go on to say that interviews conducted would convince them that the white was one of the shooters. Data from the white cell phone will allegedly suggest that he was near the concert venue before the gunfire began. Surveillance video showed that the shooter's car was in the vicinity about at the same time, and the vehicle was recorded following the victims as they left. The White's arrest was only the latest criminal case to involve mention of the Bird Gang and the Ghost Gang. In early March, Orleans Parish prosecutors would unseal an indictment charging three alleged Bird Gang members, James Alexander, aka Pooh, Chance Skipper, aka Duna, and Randy Calvin, aka Tukey Hefner, were pumping that 11-5. Randy Calvin, Chance Skipper, and James Alexander accused of distributing heroin from October 2015 to May 2016. Investigators say Skipper was spotted on the porch of a home in the 2400 block of South Robertson Street Thursday. They seized two Glock handguns, an assault rifle, and over 100 grams of marijuana. These individuals are, we believe, are members of the Bird Gang, and they are actively involved in violent gun violence. The cops got here, they just bomb rush. They bone rushing the um they just bone rushing in the house. People sitting on the porch, eating crawfish. Michelle Skipper says Chance is her son and James is her nephew. My son a good person, he ain't no bad person. Anybody anybody could tell you that. Why would police have a, a warrant out for him him though? I don't know. Authorities believe members of the Bird Gang have been engaged for months in a violent feud over narcotics with members of another gang based around the city. He had got caught with a gun before. That was his own gun. Mm -hmm. And his little weed, he was smoking. And that was it. But despite NOPD being adamant that your son's in a gang, why do you feel so strongly that he's not? He not, I don't know why, I don't know why the people is messing, I don't know why they messing with them. Law enforcement says their investigation is ongoing and gang activity in New Orleans will not be tolerated. We know who they are, we've identified them, and if they continue to remain, um, commit violent acts, we, we're going to come after them and lock them in jail. James Chance and Randy had all allegedly been on the NOPD's radar since at least August of that year. James would be accused of provoking a daytime shootout in the heart of Magazine's shopping district that left him, a rival, and an uninvolved hairstylist at a nearby salon wounded. G.B. White was ultimately charged with two counts of second-degree murder in the slayings of 28-year-old Darrell Micey Pollard and 19-year-old Teron Baby Triller Young in the indictment that was handed up by an Orleans Parish grand jury. The White was also charged with obstruction 
of justice in a homicide investigation and two counts of attempted second degree murder for the shootings of two other men in the murder victim's car when the ambush attack occurred shortly after June 15th of 2017. One of the wounded survivors, Bruce Stacks Pollard, was also indicted. The grand jury would charge Stacks with obstruction of justice in a homicide investigation, an offense that carries a penalty of up to 40 years in prison if convicted. After five hours of deliberating, jurors will convict the white on two counts of second degree murder, two counts of second attempted degree murder, and one count of obstruction of justice in a homicide investigation. On March 5th of 2020, the date of the white sentencing, he would file a motion for a new trial, arguing that he was entitled to a new trial by the virtue of non-unanimous verdicts. On that same date, the court would deny the white's motion. Thereafter, the court proceeded to sentence the white as follows. Count one, for the second degree murder of the rare pilot, the court imposed a mandatory penalty of life in the Department of Corrections, that sentence being without benefit of probation, parole, or suspension of sentence. Count two, for the indicted charge of second degree murder of Teron Young, the court imposed a mandatory sentence of life in the Department of Corrections without the benefit of probation, parole, or suspension of sentence. Count three, for the indicted charge charge of attempted second degree murder of Johan White, the court imposed a maximum of 50 years in the Department of Corrections. That sentence is without benefit of probation, parole, or suspension of sentence. Count four, the indicted charge of attempted second degree murder of Bruce Pollard, 50 years in the Department of Corrections. That sentence is without benefit of probation, parole, or suspension of sentence. Count five, obstruction of justice. The court imposed a sentence of 40 years in the Department Department of Corrections. That sentence is at hard labor. Counts one, two, three, four, and five are to run concurrent with each other, all with credit for time served from the date of arrest. This app doesn't even tell half of the war. Stay tuned for part two.